Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're back up on top of Short Mountain to play a little radio. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So my friends over in East Tennessee started something that they call March Mountain Madness today. And what it is is that group over there goes up into the mountains of East Tennessee just to hang out and play radio for the day. Well, during those occasions, I try to get up here to Short Mountain, which is a roughly eh, 95 to 100 miles away from my current location. And I like to see if I can make uh, a communication or, or get a few QSOs with those guys over there using two meter simplex. Now I've got the ICOM 705 with me today, so I'll be running it. Uh, I do have an external battery, albeit a small one. I've only got the little three amp hour uh, BioNO battery with me today, but that will give me 10 watts out of the radio. So that should be plenty to make this connection since we're both on mountaintops in each location. Should have pretty good line of sight. Now, in addition to that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and post a position report on Winlink, and then we'll see if we can hook up with those guys over voice. So I've had the camera off for probably the last 35 minutes or so. And I have been sitting here fighting this setup, trying to figure out why it was completely deaf when I was trying to make a packet Winlink connection. And I automatically assumed that it was a software misconfiguration. Uh, so I did try to go through and I verified all of my settings in uh, Pat Menu, in Pat Winlink. I checked connectors, I checked coax, I've checked antennas, I've checked everything. And for whatever reason, uh, I just wasn't getting audio in and I kept thinking it was software. Guys, sometimes it's not a software issue at all. When I started digging through the menus of my radio, I realized that I had left noise reduction on on the 705. If noise reduction is left on, it will all but eliminate any digital packet. So sometimes uh, you just gotta keep chasing these things until you can figure it out, but it's not always software related. Often it's a setting in the radio that's preventing us from making a successful connection. CQ two meter, CQ two meter, CQ five two simplex. This is Kilo Mike four Alpha Charlie Kilo KM4 ACK calling CQ and listening. All right, I got part of that call, Kilo Golf 4. Uh, give me the suffix again, please. Kilo Golf 4, Victor Delta Kilo. Kilo Golf 4, Victor Delta Kilo Golf 4, Victor Delta Kilo. Thanks for coming back to me. Just up here on top of Short Mountain, playing with a log periodic antenna. I'm running a ICOM 705 with 10 watts. QSO? Roger, Roger. Copy you up on short mountain. I'm actually going to be headed out that way shortly, so maybe the contact will get a little bit better. Uh, I'll give it a shout when I'm on the way. Kilo Golf 4, Victor Delta. Outstanding. Thanks for the call. Just real quick, uh, are you running a mobile radio right now, or are you stationary? Sorry, Jason. No copy. Try again. <laughs> That's okay. I was just curious if you're uh, mobile or if you're uh, running from a home station right now. Currently mobile, uh, ICOM 2730A. All right, thanks for the call. Maybe we'll work you again when you get in a little closer. KM4ACK. Roger, Roger. Kilo Golf 4, Victor Delta Kilo for now. WB4OSM. WB4OFM, good morning, sir. How are you? Well, I guess it's afternoon now at this point, technically. Yeah, I think it is. I, I was, uh, I heard Doug on 2-3, and I haven't even 
talk to anybody on that old Midland Crystal rig, so I thought, I'm going to walk over here and say hello and see this radio's working. And I was in the middle of talking to him, and then I heard you. <laughs> Yeah, I come up here to the top of Short Mountain this morning and uh, playing a little bit of radio. I got the ICOM 705 set up running 10 watts through a log periodic, uh, elk log periodic antenna. Uh, I think I've got the beam pointed pretty much back to your direction at this point. Yeah, you're full scale. I, I didn't hear, I could, the other guy, I could sort of hear him, but not quite. Where was he? KM4ACK QRZ. JJB. All right, KG4, Juliet, Juliet, Bravo. Uh, got it right that time, and you are sounding great from up here on top of Short Mountain. Uh, call here is Kilo Mike 4, Alpha Charlie, Kilo, QSL. Hey, QSL, I'm over in Marshall County. I'm about 50 miles south of Nashville. Okay, I doubt I've even got the beam turned your direction, but uh, a good copy on you up here. You're probably coming in uh, about five over, uh, so nice copy on you this morning or this afternoon. Yeah, I'm on a GP6, about 40 foot. Uh, I just heard you on there a minute ago talking to that other gentleman. Your signal was a little louder, but like I say, you may have turned that beam another way. Yeah, let's see if that's any louder for you there. <laughs> CQ52, CQ52. This is Kilo Mike 4, Alpha Charlie Kilo calling CQ2 meters, CQ2 meters, KM4 ACK and listening. KM4 ACK, this is Whiskey Sierra 4 Sierra. WS4S in Cookville, you are loud and clear. WS4S in Cookville, thank you for coming back to my call. Just up here on top of Short Mountain today, playing a little bit of radio. I'm running an EICOM 705, 10 watts, through a Elk log periodic antenna. QSL? Yep, sounds great. Uh, I'm running a Yazoo mobile here at the house, about 50 watts, into a uh, dual band Ringo at 40 feet. Uh, so you're sounding great. Uh, Short Mountain's a beautiful spot for uh, VHF. How's the wind up there today? <laughs> the wind is the big challenge today. Uh, 15 miles per hour probably sustained and getting gust up to uh, probably 30 miles an hour. Beautiful day up here, but I'm just hoping the audio comes through on uh, the videos that I'm making here. Well, certainly coming through here just fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you sound great. We're getting ready to uh, head out and do a POTA activation at uh, Oh, what is it? Uh, Summons Mill. All right, well, that's a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.